significant Russian individual was gravely injured, according to Ukraine, during a special forces troop invasion into Vladimir Putin's Belgorod region. Leet Gen Kirillo Budinov, the head of military intelligence in Kiev, made the assertion. He remarked, without going into specifics, I can say that one of the very seriously wounded in the Belgorod region of Russia was quite a significant personality. They asked for a helicopter to take him straight to Moscow right away. He declined to provide more information. In footage from the excursion, troops can be seen setting off explosives and shooting their guns in a wooded area. Additionally, Budinov stated that he was unable to verify previous astounding claims made on social media of the death of Putin's overall military commander, General Valery Gerasimov, following an attack on Sevastopol, Crimea, which was alleged to have utilized storm shadow missiles. Ukraine believes that high-ranking individuals were hit when it struck a command post, but there is no proof that Gerasimov, the 68-year-old first deputy minister of defense, was among them. Let's simply state that I have no information to substantiate this. Budanov replied when asked about the claims that suggested Gerasimov had been killed. Regarding the allegations made by Gerasimov, which went viral on Friday, Russia has not responded. Regarding the Sevastopol attack, however, Serhii Brachuk, the battalion's spokesman for the Ukrainian Volunteer Army South, stated, There are many versions of who could have been hit there. I even came up with the well-known Gerasimov surname. While this would be excellent news, I don't think it will actually happen. However, it is true that this command post was the target of multiple high-ranking officers or generals of the Russian occupation force, according to Ukrainian sources on Saturday, who were quoted by the Crimean Wind Telegram channel, 15 Russian military soldiers were slain in the attack on the Sevastopol command post on Thursday. The Saki military airbase, located to the west of the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula, was effectively targeted, according to a statement released by the Ukrainian military on Saturday. Airfield Saki. Every objective was struck. Mykola Oleschuk, the head of the Air Force, said on Telegram. In addition, he released a picture that seemed to depict the airstrip, albeit it was not immediately feasible to confirm it. Regarding the reported attack, Russian officials remained silent. However, early on Saturday morning, the Russian Defense Ministry declared that it had successfully shot down four Ukrainian missiles over the peninsula. Ambulances were reportedly observed racing to the Saki airfield and the Sevastopol site following the strikes, which are thought to have been caused by British-supplied Storm Shadow missiles. Rumors had stated that Gerasimov was a victim at the Sevastopol command post at Ukarin Balka, although Oleschuk had previously lauded the impeccable combat work of his aviation crews. Mikhail Razvoshayev, the governor of Sevastopol nominated by Putin, declared, it was the most massive attack in recent times. Regarding the previously unreported incursion into the Belgorod region across the border, Budinov, 38, declared, we are in an open war, and there's no reason to be surprised. In the end, that's what's happening. Those who wage war on others eventually have to deal with it themselves. Information began to spread on the internet today that the chief of the general staff of the armed forces of the Russian Federation, Valery Gerasimov, was supposedly murdered as a result of yesterday's strikes on Crimea, according to RBK Ukraine. However, there is no reliable proof that the general a rival of the now-deceased warlord Yevgeny Prigozhin, was in Crimea or that the Crimean strike affected him. Significant losses were reportedly sustained, and following days of intense Ukrainian shelling, Russia withdrew hundreds of citizens from Belgorod, demonstrating Putin's incapacity to effectively defend a vital regional hub. Over the past few days, Belgorod has been subjected to almost daily attacks by the Ukrainians the heaviest of which claimed 25 lives on December 30th. The ministry announced later on Saturday that six anti-ship missiles had been shot down over the Black Sea by its air defense units. For the third day in a row, traffic on a bridge that links the peninsula, which Moscow illegally seized in 2014, with the southern Krasnodar region of Russia, was momentarily blocked. It is an essential supply line for Russia's military campaign.